Why am I here? Oh my god! <laughs> This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Buckle up everyone, we've got another G5 toy review. Yep, hello every pony. hope you're well. And here we have Izzy Moonbow, uh, the Critter Creations set that's just arrived in the post all the way from America. And I am ecstatic to get her because I've had quite a bad week so far. Lots of things gone, like trains late and lost my wallet and yeah but yeah just to get her in the post today um is just quite a nice um pick up the end of the week really so enough riffraff let's get to reviewing her looking at the box first as all good reviewers should do in the top right hand corner of the box it says that we can apparently make our own pets so that should be interesting at the bottom it says izzy moonbow critter creation and Look at that face. Look how happy she is. God, she is adorable. I love her. Quite sure what that is on the right-hand side of the box. It looks sort of like a foresty scene. Um, not really sure. On the left-hand side of the box is pretty much just um, some of the features um, that come in the set. And obviously, the back of the box says, well, shows everything that you get. Izzy creates styles for the forest critters. Now, that kind of makes me think that... Um, you know, she's got the personality of Pinkie Pie, but maybe with like looking after forest creatures, she sort of takes after Fluttershy as well. I don't know. It'd be interesting to find that out when the movie comes out in September. But anyway, that's the box. Let's get to opening her. First off, accessories. And we have a background. Um, it's just a piece of cardboard, but nevertheless, it's a background. And this is something that is quite new for my little pony sets as far as i know um i presume that's part of izzy's house that we're looking at but anyway it's a really cool accessory have this dressing table with a mirror um and uh, yeah that's a really that's a really good mirror that not that i'm going to use it for my own purposes <laughs> and and it has a big drawer and also a little drawer and i quite like the detail of like the little uh, stand that's underneath it as well it's really really nicely sculpted and you can see the sort of uh, the grain of the wood or whatever material it is in, in the top of the desk and also on the back of the mirror yeah that's a very not very nice accessory that i'll pop that there for the, for the time being then we have this little chest which has got a really nice handle and it opens up um, and it's got really nice detailing and patterns on the outside. Not a lot else you can really say about that, but it's a really nice accessory nonetheless. We have this little jar, um, which is clear plastic, and it's got a little uh, sort of bronzy gold coloured top, which is removable. And that's really that's really unusual. I don't think I've ever seen that in the, the My Little Pony set before, but that's really, really nicely sculpted. Unusually, for some reason, we also have... A single rose um, not sure the relevance of that but that is really really nice and I'm not really sure what else to do with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top off this jar and uh, pop it in there there we go yeah that looks nice with some really really tiny little accessories which if I'm not gonna be very careful uh, these will get lost so a tiny little cone we also have these, which I'm not really sure what they are. Are they sort of hair straighteners or something? I have no idea. We also have this. I couldn't work out what it was, uh, but then I just noticed that uh, it opens up and it looks like it's something like a, like a powder compact or something. Um, yeah, and uh, it has little pony ears on it, which is quite a nice touch we also have this pair of scissors which i recognize uh, this is a recolor of a pair of scissors that was from the equestria girls minis set uh, that was with photo finish we also have a couple of spray bottles this little perfume bottle an open book which is blank inside a hair dryer a couple of gemstones um, and this tiny little heart one 
is going to get lost if I'm not careful. Um, yeah, not really sure the relevance of those, but still. Little thing which clips onto Izzy's hoof. I'm not really sure whether it's a brush of some sort or whether it's a bouquet of flowers or whether it's an ice cream cone. To have a little pet basket also comes with a sheet of really cute stickers. Um, most of which have very, very cute illustrations of Izzy on them. Now, the reason why the set has the name Critter Creations, yes, we get a couple of um, sort of puffball things, um, and this sort of sheet of sort of cardboard pushouts. So we can apparently make our own creatures. Oh, it's, the, it's upside down. So, yeah, they've got an illustration of one on the box. Yeah, so I'm going to try making that one. Um, and there's also another tiny little one there. So, uh, oh, and, and another one. Right, well, let's have a go at this, shall we? Right, let's try making our own weird gestalt entity, shall we? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use this face like they did on the... Oh. So they are actually sticky on the back. Um, let's, ah, there we go. Oh, no, so I'm not sure how to do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should do it. So they are, so it is cardboard, but uh, they do have sticky back on the, on, the, uh, on the back, so, well, sticky back on the back. Stupid thing to say, Perfect Harvest. Why did you say that, you idiot? <laughs> Just to pass the time. Again, a lot of my toy reviews seem to be, oh god, I haven't got, quite got that on straight, I need to quick rip it off before it's too late. There we go. There we go, mate. Your ears were a bit skewish there. Um, oh dear. Ah, there we are. Where are you? There you are. Don't run away, you. Is this? Now, interesting fan theory here. Could this, could this be G5 Flufflepuff? <laughs> I highly doubt it, but, uh... Right, let's, uh, plunk that on the top. Oh, God, other things falling off. Where's it going? Is it falling off? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's falling off somewhere, but I'm not... Where? Oh, I'm sticking it on top, right. This isn't going very well. Um... Hang on. There. I think that's good enough, don't you? Now let's uh, let's just plonk you in your basket. There we go. Flufflepuff, everybody. Personally, I'm very pleased with my handiwork. What do you reckon, Izzy? Oh my gosh, I love him. Can I keep him as a pet? Before we go any further, Izzy has this little crown, which has, I presume, got her element of harmony in it. And that's really, really nice. Here she is, the star of the show, Izzy Moonbo, new best pony. And she looks absolutely amazing. I really, really like that they've decided to make most of the main series with these sculpted manes. I know My Little Pony was originally, back in the 80s, all about having brushable hair. But as the fandom has progressed over the years, what with the brony movement, it's more about collecting rather than playing. So... They're just much nicer and to look look at and just easier to look after, really. And um, like all the... So, well, there's her face to start off with. I think she's got sort of like greeny eyes. Yeah, I think so. Um, and there's her horn. Um, she's sort of like a pinky, uh, lilac-y colour with sort of dark purple mane and tail. Um, and her cute... Uh, she has Hasbro syndrome, sadly, again. Her cutie mark is only on one side. Um, her tail is poseable from side to side. And her legs are poseable at the front and back. Like so. And then her head is poseable on a ball joint. So she can nod, look like that. Look left and look right. No, look, look right and look left. Um, yeah, so... That's the set in a nutshell, pretty much. So, this is everything in the set. My fourth bit of G5 merchandise. Um, it's a really, really interesting idea with the cre uh, create your own critter um, part of the set. And I think that's quite, quite a fun idea for kids. Um, oh, and I've just noticed that... Um, oh, no, no, I thought a bit of falling off him, but uh, no, it's just he was facing the wrong way up. But, yeah, I digress. Izzy Moonbo, I just love her as a character, even before I've seen the movie. And this is an absolutely awesome figure of her. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. 
I've really enjoyed opening this set, and no doubt soon you will see me on the airwaves again. So until that time, thank you very much for watching, guys, and take care of yourselves. Cheers. Hello, up, give every... <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? Right, let's try that again. Buckle up, everyone. The universe is really telling me that I shouldn't do this right now. Buckle up, everyone. We've got another G type. God. <laughs> this is going to be the fourth take now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And, oh, sorry, love. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's put that in the outtakes and forget that ever happened, shall we, Izzy? I think that's the best idea. Um, I hope you haven't got concussion. Um, so, yeah. Uh, God, noises. Always noises. So, calling all the flingers, the flingers are fling. And a note to all the singers, don't sing. All saucy doctors kindly lend us your hats. And the smoke upon the end of a thing. And if you cannot obey, then you will wither away. And your feet will become very sore. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense But if you understand this, then you're mad It doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense And the singing is also quite bad